Ever since we were kids, our main goal, our main dream was always to make a feature film. And the YouTube stuff was always a good way for us to sort of practice becoming directors, practice VFX, practice special effects makeup. Uh, but we felt like we'd practiced enough and it was time to make a film. So uh, we took the leap and gave it a shot. Yeah, I, I remember there was our, our, these kids that lived next door that we watched grow up. And one of them was experimenting with drugs for the first time. Um, and he was having a really negative reaction to the drug he was taken and he was on the floor convulsing. And the kids that he was with were filming him and laughing at him. And I remember seeing that image and it really sticking in my mind and bothering me. And I think it's really important uh, in horror to uh, explore things that bother you and that are scary to you. And so that was a big inspiration point. Yes, yeah, so the movie was made independently before A24 was attached. Um, they came on board during Sundance. And, you know, we had different studios come and speak with us because they wanted to distribute the film. But we love A24. So when they were in the room with us and they were, like, saying how much they loved the movie, we were like, yeah. you know, because we're big fans. We tried, we had to act like we, you know, were kind of cool about it. Yeah. But we were freaking out inside because we love A24. Yeah, they're very uh, filmmaker first, filmmaker friendly. Uh, We've, yeah, amazing that they distributed our film. Well, a little a story is we spoke to them and then they left back to New York where a lot of them are based. And then they heard of a different offer from someone else. So then they flew back the next day with more people. And then <laughs> we were chatting with, with everyone from A24. So they were the first company that had like a, like a, a presence about them and a personality. Like we saw the faces of these people and they're so passionate, which we love. So uh, when I was writing the film, I could never write with Michael. Uh, we'd fight too much. So I, I, I wrote this script with my, my co-writer, Bill Hinsman. And then when the script was ready, I sent it over to Michael. So we tend to develop things by ourselves. But when it's time to come on set and be in production, that's when we uh, yeah, are both on set at the same time. Yeah, and Danny would be the main voice of direction. And then I'll be looking on things that, that are kind of like the peripheral, like stuff on the side. And then um, if I have a change of dialogue or a, a different idea, I'll speak to Danny first so we're not confusing the actors. Yeah. And if we disagree, then we oh, fight each other. Oh, yeah. And I usually won. So. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and it was one day, it was the last day we were at, on set at one of the houses and uh, we had to do a, a, like a big special effects sequence and then also a montage sequence. And we had 50 shots to get in the montage sequence. Um, and the first AD said to us, you mathematically don't have enough time because we only had two hours to shoot it. So we said, let us control the set for these two hours. And we had two cameras and we we're just like yelling direction, everyone, get that jib in, get it out, make up that other. And then everyone was like, oh, running around and we're playing music on the boom box and just free flowing and shooting. And uh, the end product, even though it made maybe some people on set unhappy, <laughs> it was like crazy. Yeah. But uh, the end product, I think you feel that energy through the screen. So that was one of, that was one of my favorites and also one of the most tense days. Yeah. Yeah, like we, for as long as we can remember, like before filming anything, we used to draw covers and play with toys and act out movies and then draw the covers of them. Yeah. Uh, and then we'd always act through movies like we were in them and then we would film it with our friends growing up. YouTube, we kind of just fell into. We never wanted to be YouTubers. So YouTube was a way of like, oh, let's start putting some stuff on here and see what happens. So yeah, it's just a creating has just been in us for as long as we can remember. Uh, Talk to me too, uh, I'm writing two different versions of the movie um, and it's sort of just uh, exploring which avenue it feels the strongest to take and the only way to find out which way is the strongest is to explore both versions. So right now there's two versions that we're working on and uh, yeah, we'll have to decide at some point. Talk to me. Amazing. 83 seconds, Josh, get it off her. I'll split you. I'll split you. What? I don't know. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on?